ball of twine thing. Um, let's go down here first. According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. It's a one two hundred thousand scale model of the actual ball of twine. And it's only one two hundred thousand as stupid as the actual ball of twine. Fun facts about the world's largest ball of twine. If laid out from end to end, the ball would stretch from here to the far side of Jupiter. Also, scientists theorize that by 2053, the sheer weight of the ball will push the Earth out of its orbit, propelling our planet on a collision course with the Sun. Good thing my life expectancy is only six years. Way to take the short view, little buddy. <laughs> Words like big and large only begin to describe this thing. I think stupid and inane would be useful additions. Not to mention grotesque. Now there's something you don't see every day. What the hell are you talking about, Sam? We dump our fish heads out the window all the time. Yeah, but these are halibut. <laughs> Do you work here? Yep, have been for 40 years. So how can I help you? You haven't seen an eight-foot-tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Yeah. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the ball of twine back in 56. Why, the stories I could tell. No! <laughs> I've heard enough stories today. Have you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? That depends on your definition. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidna. Well, is there anything else I can help you with? What's with all fish. the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. As Conroy Bumpus passed through here. Who is that? He's a country western star gone berserk with power. I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. That'll be all for now. You are really unhelpful. <laughs> There's a plane. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. <laughs> thingamabob. Oh! Too late. I guess we'll have to wait. Deleting that email. Shake a leg, Max. And off we go. Hey, look! That's one long loose end. Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. That you do, Sam. What you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f***ing diner. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Should I even bother asking you about Conroy Bumpus? No. Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who the f is Bruno the Bigfoot? Sam, he's speaking in tongues. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots of things. Like scratching those hard to reach places. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like a free sample? Sure. Let me uh, make another one plane. For you. All yours. 
Thanks. Well, bye. <laughs> now I can control the speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Okay, I've lodged the magnifying lens in front of the mounted binoculars. I thought you press. Oh. Hmm. The largest stump in the world. It's a rock. Mount Badrich. I can't remember if you look for something in particular. It's a rock. The rock. It's the inexplicable valley of lights. It's a rock. Another rock. That's the Enchanted Argyle Forest. <laughs> it's a rock. Another rock. Why, it's the Eternal Plain of Acid Rain. It's a rock. Yeah, I could be completely wrong. Hmm. The largest stump in the world. Okay, there's nothing. I'm sure this is somehow useful, but I'll be damned if I know how. Yeah, use this. I can't use these things together. Nope. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Well, okay, I think I'm done here anyway. I've got to use this elevator. What? Use it? <laughs> uh. Uh, now where do I go? Um, I'll get a golf. Oh, hang on a minute. I just remembered. That did the trick. <laughs> it's kind of wobbly in here. Hey, Max, come here. Here I come. One must admire the skill with which the wily uber trout stalks its prey. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. Holy mackerel. I'm a trout, stupid. <laughs> Holy trout. I'd always thought you were made of plaster. Sam? I'm thinking. What's that noise? It sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. <laughs> Another email. God damn it.
How is a helicopter even supposed to carry this? No, I can't. <laughs> Then I ain't gonna cut it. No pun intended. I told you I had a plan. All right, Max, and you grab that. Hey, Max, I've got another plan. I think I liked you better when you were clueless. <laughs> Shut up and climb over the rail. See, that wasn't so bad. What are you two doing out here? Eep. Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. Galileo was wrong. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. Hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. Yeah, because that makes sense. It's 91 yards of twine. Let's go. No, didn't want to go here. He's back at it. Want to go here. Right, I'm gonna stop. Uh, I think I'll be over right now. I don't know. I always lose track of time when playing games. Anyway, until next time, I'll see everyone later. So long.